What's up, man? That's your friend, Neighborhood Announce you. What's up, man? Back at you another anime reaction. And today, we're doing ReZero Season 2, Episode 31, The Maiden's Gospel. Now, last episode ended on a banger, bruh. I don't know what to tell y'all, but this, this shit was, this shit was not my nigga's guts. Literally spilling out, bruh. Literally spilling out. This man slipped and fell on his own intestines, bruh. And he died. And he died to who? The Bow Hunter, bruh. The same bra that was in like Season 1, Episode 2, or whatever. But she never returned the whole season. I was mad about that. But now she finally makes a comeback. And I, I, just, I just, what was you doing this whole time? What was you Doing. I just want to know. But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight to it. <laughs> hey, look, when you click back real fast, you get to see the titties. <laughs> I need a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so I was right. The checkpoint is the sanctuary or the graveyard. My bad. Yo, is she gonna spaz out again? Okay, no. Okay, so it wasn't the first time. I got it. Oh, never mind. She's spazzing again. All right, so I'm already pausing a minute in on the dot. And uh, we already know where this route goes, right? As far as melee health concerns go. Is this gonna force uh, Subaru to, you know, go about it a different way? Like, yo, I know what these trials make you go through and let's let's scale it back a little bit. You don't have to do it every single night, but every other night, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do the trials for you instead of you doing it because it's it's clearly taking a toll. Well, how's he gonna go about this? Yo, we also get to revisit the Roswell conversation because Roswell didn't even say that in that first conversation. He didn't say much. So everybody's surprised that he's passed. I guess this is a conversation that we haven't seen before. Does this explain like how they decided to, uh, to take the villagers and uh, leave for the barrier? So you lied, drop dead. Goddamn. <laughs> Yo, you just killed Amelia's soul by saying that. You might not like it though. So Subaru's about to take on the trials for himself instead of Amelia. Called it, but is Amelia going to accept it? I don't think Amelia would accept it. But I don't want anyone but Amelia Sama being the one to pass the trial. That's a change for the last episode. And here it is, you can go through the trial in Amelia Sama's place. Subaru, it was way too early. It was way too early to suggest this plan because they haven't seen Amelia go through the trials night after night after night and break down. So it's way too early to assume this. Well, suggest this, my bad. See, are you saying you can't trust me with this? Now you about to hurt her feelings, bruh. Bruh, all the progress she was making with Amelia in the early episodes, bruh, you just regressed by eight steps, bruh. Now she don't want you. See, this thing I don't like about Subaru, and I knew this was going to happen the minute him and Garfield had that conversation last episode, is that once he died, I knew he was going to try to take on the brunt of Amelia's pain when he came back, and I don't like that, bro. Like, you got to stop babying Amelia, bro. You got to stop babying this bro. She got to she gotta become a woman. She got to grow up. You got to let her face her trials by herself. You can't just keep trying to take over and every time she gets hurt. Sip. And now we're revisiting the conversation. And if she does prove to be an enemy, what will you do? And you can't tell him about Beatrice. How you gonna go about this? That is true with the exception of one person. That's Beatrice. It's cool how all these different conversations lead to the same conclusion, bruh. What the hell are you talking about? Huh? The hell are you talking about? The necklace, my guy. And are you going to show some concern for me? Even Ram gets it. You're only nice when you get something out of it, aren't you? <laughs> At least he knows he's being used. Yo, what's going on with Ram's mind, bruh? She's clearly thinking of something. Did it? What happened here? I gotta go back and watch an episode. Did he really just throw her like that? Oh, was that to save her? The most important thing in the world to you. Is it real? So I'm gonna tell you about it. It has to be real. Bro, you can tell her this whole story, but will she actually believe it though? That's the question. Cause I ain't gonna lie, every time she says, you telling me about this stranger, it irritates the fuck out of me, bro. Like how you don't remember your twin sister? Ah, she's still alive. He's gonna drop down and hug her. Is he gonna start crying? All right. So this wasn't the direction I was thinking. Bro, you about to make that girl fall in love with you, bro. If I may be blunt, I don't like this. <laughs> The cute sarcasm of a Ram who has been forgotten and left at a loss. Yo, I'm starting to really like Ram, bruh. <laughs> I see what Garfield sees in her, man. She's adorable. You seem to know your place unlike Borrow Soup, bruh. I don't know why, but that's hot. The way she talked, it's hot. I want to see what she's going to do. We'll wait with Ram in the meantime. Oh, they're finally about to meet. What if Ram isn't even in the room? Oh, she's still there. What is Ram's face going to be like? Bruh, show me her reaction, please. Could you leave us alone for a bit? Yo, what if Ram killed Ram? Like, who the fuck is this imposter? Bruh, what's this look on her face, bruh? Why is she bugging like this? But she seems so sweet here. Why did you use the glowing stone to set a teleport trap? Teleport trap? I don't. I don't think they had anything to do with the stone, bro. I'm. I'm pretty sure that was completely a kidnap. What do you mean by teleport, right? You jump to conclusions, my guy. But she don't know what the hell is going on right now. Subaru, you fucking everything up. But I'm just gonna sit there and just take Subaru's tea. Disrespectful. But skill at making tea hasn't improved since we left. So disrespectful. <laughs> what an unlovable girl you have. Bro, is that beef between them? If I were more lovable, the world would be in danger. But Ram. Ram is delusional. <laughs> is Ram about that action? Alright, so she doesn't know about the teleporting. She gave this man a stone for a reason, and now there's an oath that she can't break. What the hell is happening? I'm confused. But who gave her the oath? If it's not Roswell, who gave her the oath? Then we can figure out who's been giving you all this. Oh, there's another, there's a third party here. Is it Elsa? So she actually wants to go back to the sanctuary. But if she does, she'll be stuck there. You're awfully slow in the uptake. I know, but you don't have to tell me that, Ram. Damn. She can't break the oath of her own feet real, so we have to force her. What? 
And then she just sitting down calm after she just made this whole big fuss and then the music disappears. You guys are in a perfect sync. You're, you're right. You're right. The voice. At the voice. Bro, when the hell did she get here? So she been waiting at that mansion for two days for this nigga to get back. Oh, ran with the action. Oh, oh. Federica with the hands. Bro, her, her hand. I'll shred you. Oh. Bro, she just sacrificed her arm. Is she gonna chop it off? Oh, she's just looking at her bro. Oh, you nasty. Ew. Major, large, medium, small, and a boy. I'll put you on the table and compare with your insides. How did you get to this point in life? Wait a minute. What the hell just happened? The Subaru always has that? I don't remember that from the first season. What the hell is Shamak? Huh? This nigga got a ninja smoke screen now? Oh, that shit almost killed them too. Oh! Oh, Federica, you about to get clapped. Oh. Okay, Federica's feet also transform. Like, can she get on all fours and run like hell? Oh, that's a big ass blade. I didn't think those blades were that big. I thought they were like needles. Federica ate that. That Rem and Patrice is still in there. You right? We leave them here. Rem, what you doing? You just met your sister. How you gonna how you gonna do her like that? Sacrifices must be made. Bro, what is with Rem? I mean, I get that she, I get that she don't have any memories of her, but damn! Yo, I swear right here, it looks like she's suffocating her. I know that's not the case, but it looks like she's suffocating her. Look at Federica. Majority rules, Ram, you gotta go with it. We're not taking a majority vote. No, I just said it rules. You gotta go with it. Yo, does her body? Does her body also change? Bro, she naked right now? Bro, she's naked! Oh! Is she about to do a full body transformation? Is that what happens when you use the jewel? That's what happens when you use the jewel! Oh, that's fire. That's fire. Oh, that's, that's, this is raw. And she can still talk? Bro, so that's what the, that's what the jewel does? That's fire! But now I got questions. All right, so, 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 if the jewel makes you go full body transformation, right? I can assume Garfield has the same ability, just like uh, Federica does. What, what is the point of giving up his, uh, his jewel to Subaru? They can't transform. Ram can't transform. What's the point of giving up your jewel? You need that shit. Oh, Ram, my man just got hit in the back, bro. What you doing? If someone keep with a buck with y'all, Subaru's gonna die again this episode, bro. Too many things have not gone his way for him to survive this episode. Who the fuck is that? Bro, that's not Federica. That roll wasn't Federica. That shit was horrendous. Who the fuck is this? Is that the the bow hunter? Is that like her pet or something? A man beast. Bro, imagine. Oh. Oh, you gotta take that. But that shit didn't do nothing to him. Okay, I read it wrong. It's not a man beast, it's a mob beast. What the fuck is a mob beast? My man literally just hid behind a chair, bruh. That was like a real beast. That motherfucker should have smelt him. Oh. Bruh, why did y'all leave that in there? Why did nobody take that out? Ooh. Ooh. Yo, one of them blades got poison in them. But that handkerchief is literally gonna do nothing. It's not gonna do anything. But she's so cute. But the word doesn't finish. What's about to happen? Oh, oh, Petra's dead. Bro, so they left Federica. They left Ram. Oh, oh. Yo, did the did the mobbies did the mobbies lift this dude in the air? Did he, did he did he get chomped in half? Bro, he got chomped in half. I told y'all Subaru was gonna die this episode. He got chopped in half, bro. That beast bit the fuck out of him. And he's still holding her hand, bro. There's nothing to touch that hand. I'm telling you, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. I know I'm not tripping. What I told you? What did I tell you? Not so Super. Oh, oh, she died. I knew it. Oh, she's still alive. His body's still intact. Subaru was going through it, bro. My man is breaking down episode by episode. This guts already spilled? I don't speak of my clients. I do have that much courtesy at least. Bro, what, what's it, Roswell? This didn't play out exactly as my direction specified. Who knew? Who knew about the plan? Two maids and one shut-in. It was supposed to be time to your return, but it's gotta be Roswell. It gotta be Roswell pulling the strings. Nigga, pulling the strings. I don't want Maylee taking any more credit. Who the fuck is Maylee? Oh, the mobbies. Duh. Bro, titties galore. I haven't said this episode, but I'm saying it now. Bro, just die and reset. Oh. Oh, what happened? Patrice, why are you here? Let him die, please. Let this nigga die. Yo, so how, is this a new checkpoint? Is this a new checkpoint? Somebody tell me, please. Actually, right, so that's my reaction to ReZero season two, episode 31, The Maiden's Gospel. I don't know what's going on in this story. I am bewildered and I, I just don't know. I, I don't know how to process, all right? This is completely different from season one. There's so, season one was like, I don't even know, I hated it. But season two is a completely different show. It's gone.
the story is amazing. They don't even play the intro and the outro no more. So it's an extended episode. That episode's longer, but the shit is flying by like I, I don't. I, so get all the theatrics out the way. That episode was amazing. You got Rem, you got, not Rem, you got Ram, you got Ram being told the story of Rem and how they're sisters. And like, yo, I know you don't remember her, but let me explain this to you. And then they finally meet. She wants to be left alone. She's crying. She senses the same blood in her. But then at the same time, she's like completely fine sacrificing her to save herself and and, and everybody else because it's Roswell wishes. But like, bruh, your sister is the most important thing in the world to you. I know, I know you fuck with Roswell help you, bruh, but... Rem is the most important thing, and the fact that she just willing to throw her away, I just don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. And then Federica is working for somebody else. She's working for. There's too many. There's too many higher ups in this episode, and I don't understand because you got, you got what's her name, Elsa. You got Elsa working. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm sorry, y'all. But you got Elsa working for somebody that that knows when Subaru is gonna come back, right? And he knows how many people. The person, not he, not he, because I, I think I think it's Roswell. That's why I said he. But uh, she knows that the person that who hired her knows that you know there's two uh, maids in the house and a shut in. They know when Subaru is going to be coming back. So Perfect. so she was already there chilling. She was chilling there for two days, scouting the place, thinking about how she's going to kill him. Uh, no, maybe she was just there to kill him for the jump, and then just chill for two days and it's a mansion. You know, just have fun, kill him, and then and then. Take out Subaru, right? So, so she's working for somebody. She has a client, and then Federica's working for somebody because she's under oath and she can't break it of her own free will. So you gotta force her to speak on it. Who, who, who has the oath? Is, is it Roswell? You gotta take her to Roswell, and then Roswell has to break the oath or something to get her to speak. Why would why would she do that? Why would he do that? If if the oath was to him, why? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't even make sense. And then if she willingly goes to the sanctuary, she won't be able to get back out because she's a demi-human. So she's going to be trapped there. So why would she willingly go there and then leave the mansion behind? That goes against Roswell's orders because he was supposed she's supposed to watch over the mansion. So I, I don't I don't understand. I'm confused. And then and then Subaru, I don't like the route that Subaru takes after he dies because then he starts to get all sappy towards Amelia. And I get it. That's his job, right? That's what what's, what's her name? So tell him. That's why Satella gave him return by death because he's supposed to look out for Amelia and then do everything in her best interest, right? So I get it. He's supposed to be a sap. He's supposed to be a sap and try to do everything to make her life easier. But Amelia gotta grow on her own, bro. She gotta be her own person. She gotta she gotta become a woman. She gotta blossom into a woman on her own. So you can't keep taking all of her hits, all of the all of her pain and suffering. You can't just keep putting that on yourself because that, that makes you look like a sucker. I can't stop a sucker. Makes you look like a sucker, bro. Makes you look like a chump, bro. They're like. Let, let that woman grow on her own. Let her grow on her own. I don't like the I don't like the ride that he takes. But then, and then here, here's another thing. Here's another thing. When he returns by death, where, where's the checkpoint? How, what's the rules of the checkpoint? I don't get. It. Is it is it like is it anything to do that affects Amelia? Like if you if you do something where you learn from you learn from your mistake or it directly propels Amelia forward and helps her grow. Is that is that like a new checkpoint? Like I'm trying to figure out what this man is going to. What where's what after today? He didn't even die today. I said he was gonna die this episode. The wrong, the wrong people die. The wrong people die. Now, this man had a happy ass uh, conversation with Petra. I'm like, bro, do you? It's a mob beast on the loose. It's a mob beast and a bio hunter assassin on the loose. And y'all motherfuckers is having a happy ass conversation like shit ain't going down around you. All right? And then, and then yeah, y'all joking it and said, bro, they went from holding hands to everybody dying, bro. Everybody died. Federica died. Petra died. Uh, uh, Ram died. Patrice, the, the, whatever, the dragon died. Rim, we don't even know what happened to Rim. Rim could have been sliced up. She could have been sliced up. Don't even know what happened to her because Patrice came in and saved the day. Does that fuck with the checkpoint? Does that fuck with the checkpoint? Why did Patrice save him? Why? Does she not know what he got going on? Why would she do that? Patrice, you, nobody can even find you. Like, you was gonna live. You was gonna live. Cause you, oh, what if Patrice was a shut-in? What if the person knows about Patrice too? I doubt it because when Patrice wants to hide, she wants to, nah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm going off on a rant and, and I'm getting nowhere. And uh, <laughs> and if I keep talking, this is going to be a long ass episode. So make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. Check out the channel for more reactions, speed drawings, uh, uh, reviews. I got all that stuff on there. And then fuck with the kid, you know, like my thought process, my predictions. And you know, you fuck with my vibe, my entertainment. You know, you, just, I don't know. You just like the room, the background, the lights. You like the hat. I don't know what you, whatever you see on the screen. If you just like it, and you fuck with it, hit that subscribe button. And hit the my camera died. Hit the bell icon twice and <laughs> to be notified when I uh, when I drop anything new. Uh, this is a nice thing for coming to the kickback. And I see you when I see you.